my brother and sister them, salon people them, uh, Ibrahim, real quick. Uh, let, let just talk to her. I want to listen to this video. I can share with her. We, you know, this guy is a black American. We don't interfere inside this salon affair. I don't tell you to talk this thing. Now, common sense. You know, we, we don't need to go borrow money to nobody with all the resources we get. So, I'm going to watch the video for myself real quick. And then um, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay? At $100 million that you're not even using, but you in a food stamp line or you in the welfare office. It wouldn't make sense. And that's the same thing with African nations. They have resources that can make them billions and trillions of dollars. They don't need a loan from China. They don't need nothing from the IMF. They don't need nothing from the World Bank. They sell your resources at market value. But it's, it's like the leaders who's running these nations, it's like, what's so hard to figure that out? I, I don't understand it. It's like simple. I was going to say, sometime I wish I could go run one of these countries and show them how it's done. It's like, shoot, we'd be Mansa Musa all over again, uh, fooling with me. But the people are suffering due to that every day. Now, they say Sierra Leone is one of the poorest countries in the continent of Africa. But it doesn't make sense because they have resources. Sierra Leone, for instance, and their natural resources have diamonds. Just one kilogram is worth over a million dollars. Over a million dollars. And you're going to get a loan from China. That's $318 million to build an airport. It does not make sense. It's no common sense to say you got something sitting in the ground. All you got to do is extract it. And you get just millions upon millions of dollars. We're not even talking about gold. The last time I looked at gold, gold was what, about um, a little over $1,200 an ounce? Just those two alone could turn the economy around in these countries. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand it. Like, why Kenya and, and all these different ones taking loans from China? It doesn't, that's stupid. I mean, I'm not, I'm just saying that, like, if you don't have leaders who are competent enough to use the natural resources, there are many brothers and sisters in America that you could bring in and help you guys get those, run those countries. Trust me, we would love to help you run those countries and make those African nations the best place ever turn them around, make them no different than like America is. And sure, you watch how many people want to come back to Africa at that point once you turn it around. Because the only reason some people hold back from going to African nations is because if you come from a place like this and then go to some places over there, not all, uh, then it's like, oh, well, why? Because you can't take people from a first world nation and take them to some place that's considered third world. You just, it's just not going to happen. But it doesn't make sense for Sierra Leone to be poor when you have those kind of resources sitting in the ground. Doesn't make sense. The IMF shouldn't be telling you anything. You don't need a loan from nobody. None. So Sierra Leone and all these nations, you guys start getting your own resources and selling them at market value. And you don't have to worry about China doing anything. You don't have to worry about the Europeans. You don't have to worry about nobody. You can have your money. You have an excess of money. You can build up your military. You, you can protect your nation. You can do everything that you have to do just as a country. But when is it going to be one president in the African nation to say, I'm going to take the lead in making sure our country is the richest African nation on the continent? Because it's going to have to happen. So Sierra Leone did good by rejecting China, but it came at the council of the IMF and the World Bank. So what are they up to? You know, good way they're not coming to Sierra Leone and saying, oh, I just want to help you and I just want to make sure you didn't. No, you know how it is. They want their hands and tentacles and something else. Start a movement in your nations to say sell those natural resources or market. Well, when I say don't listen for what I say, eh? I hope you don't understand the English. All they say is, why we for the gold length money, we will already get the money. If not so greedy and thievery and just lack of common sense. That's what he's saying. That is all he's saying. Now we could talk to her. We get the right leader. We shall be turn around with, with, with resources that that country today and make them profitable for we. Dr. Yunkel, I don't always talk about me. Say value added. Value added means say, if you get cacao, manufacture your own cacao like you turn into chocolate. So you go sell it to the world and make more money and bring and come like you country. That is what value added is. Not for just take the cacao and give it, give it Chinese them, or give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, they can make profits, make all kinds of chocolate on it, and go sell them back you now. Hey, boy. We get all the resources. Salon people, they all wake up. Yeah, my brother and sister, them, my young brother and sister, them. Now, we this day affect. Now, a generation they get for affect. So, it's about time. 2023, we'll go vote for the right man.
with a doctor Yumkela and puts the NGC in a power. And so now they see all the confusion when they go on eh, between APC and SLPP. So, so fetch, fetch and confusion. You're too party and not good for we country. All right. Ibrahim. Bye bye.